I lived in a I lived in a trailer a couple of times. I had a we used to get a lot of hand me downs in a trailer, you know, hand me down all kind of things, food, you know what I mean? Like food like, I ain't gonna eat this, you take it. <laughs> I got a mattress. We never I never even knew where you get a mattress from as a kid. They were just passed around. Like I know that's gross, but they were just they just I know it's gross now, but it wasn't gross then. Like, you know, a family member might get a mattress from another cousin and then you would get theirs. The first big mattress I had, full-size mattress I got as an adult, uh, my sister gave to me, and her and her husband had had it for a while. And they smoked a lot of cigarettes inside, didn't keep a lot of sheets on the bed, you know, so I did seen some stuff. <laughs> I didn't mind though, I was a big drinker back then, you know, and I sweated a lot, and I threw up on the side a couple of times, and spilled a couple of lemonades in bed, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Listen, if you drink enough, your body is like, listen, he needs to sleep more than he needs to get up, okay? Your body's like, let him sleep. His life's going down the drain anyway. Just let him sleep. He's got towels. We're having a good time. So, but I had this in Alabama and I moved to Charleston, South Carolina when I was older and that's where I lived for 10 years. It's a beautiful city, needed a mattress like that. And uh, I took the mattress with me. And one day I was moving from one apartment to the next and I just had a truck and one strap, right? So I put that mattress on the back of that truck and I put that strap around behind it, you know, so it wouldn't slide out, you know, cause I did not know about wind at the time. <laughs> so I got that on there and I'm driving the truck and I'm going over this bridge. The bridge is over a harbor, you know, beautiful day. Beautiful boats. I'm driving. I'm looking in the rearview mirror. You know, I'm on. I'm on drugs. And I'm looking in that rearview mirror. I'm watching that mattress. And I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm looking at it. And I start going up that hill, and that mattress starts to do like this. It starts to raise up. And I'm thinking, well, that's probably pretty good for that mattress. You know what I mean? That mattress could use some air. Sunshine and air is the best thing that ever happened to this mattress. So I'm like, let's let it happen, you know? And then I give it some gas and all of a sudden that mattress flies up like a sheet of paper. It's just floating on the breeze. It's like a mattress kite coming out there. I've never seen a mattress do that. Then it lands on the bridge, it's sliding everywhere. Cars are going everywhere. Nobody hits it except my friend. He runs right over it. He's on drugs. <laughs> He gets out, he's like, oh, I felt like that was the best move. <laughs> okay, I'd hate to know what your other moves were. Hopefully one of those was not run over the mattress. But we're just out there, we don't know what to do. We're just looking at this mattress, all beat up, skin up, stained up. We just pick it up, put it back on the truck. I kept it for eight more years. I don't know what to do. Mattresses are expensive. You start looking at them, you start, you start being like, you know what, I can sleep on this. <laughs> if this had one bent up corner, it wouldn't quite go down. Well, like if the girls would come over, I'd just put some books on there, you know? Like I've been reading. Because that's hard to read when you're drunk all the time. I learned that. <laughs> Even like, you read that book I gave you? I'm like, nah, I've been drunk since you gave me that. <laughs> That book will never get read, to be honest with you. <laughs> I had a girl come to my house one time, and I had some books on a windowsill. She's like, you've you been reading those books? I was like, nah, I use that to prop open the windowsill. <laughs> you can see the disappointment, right? But the trick to owning a mattress like that is you never let anybody see it without sheets on it and move at night. You know what I mean? <laughs> I fell asleep eating a burrito on that mattress one time. Woke up in the morning, the burrito's there, big stain all the way around, a big grease stain. That's a tough stain to explain to people. Because you want people to know you've been falling asleep eating burritos. Like, where's your life at if you can't stay awake through a whole burrito? Like, what's going on with it? <laughs> like, what is it? Oh, I fell asleep last night eating a burrito. You're better off saying you peed the bed. <laughs>